Alex Jones, Infowars, and so, some of the other few companies that he's associated with are filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy because Alex Jones has been sued for defamation by many people, successfully sued by the Sandy Hook victims because he claimed that they and their children were crisis actors making up the uh, Sandy Hook shooting that massacred their children. So, as always, just a wonderful reminder of the kind of guy that Alex Jones is. And so, uh, by the transitive property, that just means Tucker Carlson is equally as wonderful in terms of morals, because here's Alex Jones basically talking about how this new... Uh, documentary that tucker carlson is putting out there called the end of men about the crisis of testosterone in the country and how you need to tan your ball sack all came from his brain tucker carlson's taking cues from him these are clips from a new tucker carlson documentary that part of it got shot on a little piece of land uh, that i have here in austin texas I didn't go out to the shoot, but let me tell you, I sent the crew out there because Tucker's producer wanted to use a Central Texas piece of property to shoot at and to shot some of it. But the issue here is that this isn't just the end of man. This is the end of the humans as we know it. And what we need to counter all this is men standing up and men being men. So here's a few clips from Tucker's new documentary. One of the biggest stories of our lifetimes is the total collapse in testosterone levels in American men. Those levels are declining by roughly 10% per decade, completely changing the way people are at the most fundamental level. NIH does not seem interested in this at all. It's not a big deal. NIH. We think it is a huge deal. So we want to know what's causing it and what you can do about it. That's the topic of our upcoming documentary called The End of Men. Here's a look at the trailer. Yesterday, but always bears repeating. Yeah, that's my 50 cal getting shot out there. <laughs> this is adding in property. A lot of his testicles was boost testosterone. This will, this will trigger the libtards like that's what you ever seen. Since then, you're in hard times. Well, hard iron sharpens iron, as they say. And those hard times inevitably produce ice bands who are tough. Men Joe Rogan does it every day. He looks great. He looks <laughs> great. He's <laughs> really enough to survive. In case you guys pause it for a sec. In case you guys missed that, that was uh, Alex Jones saying, oh, "Ice baths." Tucker Carlson doesn't have, or no, no, Joe, uh, Rogan. Joe Rogan does it every day. He looks great. We just keep just one. That's not sure. a normal bath. He's not just taking an outdoor bath, which would be something you'd see on a Cialis commercial or something like that. That's an ice bath. That's actually manly. It gives your testosterone a boost. Yeah, taking an ice bath by yourself as opposed to with your wife, like you would be doing in a Cialis commercial. It's way more ho less homosexual if you do it by yourself. Ice, totally manly. Boom, go. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Uh, definitely going to trigger the libtards. Worse than his January 6th uh, documentary. And, and I mean, I'm glad they shot part of it here in Central Texas with us, but just obviously a lot of entertainment value to this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's a weird endorsement. God, I'm barely hiding the pain behind my eyes as I lose let money just, out of my ass every fucking day. Let me just reiterate that uh, I am actually glad that they use my property and I'm not embarrassed by any of this. And I actually think it's funny that all the liberals are triggered by it. No, he's not embarrassed. He's thrilled and he has some tangential connection to Tucker Carlson as he like loses him loses uh, a lot financially right now, although I'm sure he'll be fine. But uh, he's in a bit of trouble. He wants to play up his connection with Tucker Carlson, who, let's be real, I've said this before, Tucker Carlson knows his audience. Tucker Carlson also yeah. knows how to cultivate a new audience. It and and he's this is this was this was Alex Jones was the OG of we're put you know there's things in the water they're making the frogs gay it's making you gay it's making you lose testosterone like this was his original beat Joe Rogan took it up shout out to Joe Rogan he takes ice baths every day it looks great and and then now Tucker Carlson has uh, has made it into a more palatable form for the public. So it's all downstream from these same lunatics and, and, and Tucker Carlson just, you know, makes it a little 
finer tuned mainstreams of the band. Well, it's funny. Yeah, Tucker has the um, the great populist sense to not shoot the um, testicle tanning in Maine uh, and to do, <laughs> call his buddy Alex Jones to get some Central Texas property that they can uh, film it on to make it look just that bit more authentic. Because if you saw like I don't know the um, uh, forests of Maine, it wouldn't quite look as cool as you know the Texas. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, North Dakota Llama. Well, when Alex Jones is right, he's right. They, that definitely appeals to uh, a historical sense of masculinity, specifically an- ancient Greek masculinity. Now, where's my olive oil at? 